Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video will gonna be really interesting and informative as today we will be solving a real life use case of an e-commerce company. This interview question has been asked in Mintra. So make sure you watch the video till end to learn something new. And don't forget to sub uh, subscribe my channel as there are many more interesting interview questions coming along your way. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So let me just quickly explain you the problem statement uh, associated with this particular uh, interview question. And then probably we will deep dive to the like our data part of this, right? So the sales department of Mintra had been given us the data set, right? So as we can see over here, we are having invoice number, stock code, quantity which had been sold, we are having invoice date and we are having unit price of that, right? So with respect to unit price, basically like this particular price is uh, for a single product, right? Uh, now, what we have to basically do over here, uh, we have to basically calculate the percentage of weekly sales on the first day and last day of the week, right? So this is the problem statement basically for us. So we have to calculate the percentage of weekly sales on first day and last day, right? So with respect to this, what we have to do basically, we have to take like sales of first day, right? Then we have to take the sales of last day. And then we have to divide both of these days sales with the sales of total week, right? With respect to this particular like a line, we will be able to get that, right? Now, uh, like they, uh, they are saying, we have to consider Sunday as the last day of the week and Monday as the first day, right? So like, uh, again, uh, this particular information had been given by them. Like we have to consider Sunday as the last day and Monday as the first day, right? Uh, now, uh, as part of the output, we have to basically include week number. We have to include percentage sales for the first day of the week and percentage sales for the last day of the week, right? So yeah, this is the problem statement basically. Now, as we uh, like can see from this particular piece of uh, like uh, problem statement, uh, as we have to calculate percentage of weekly sales for the first day and last day. So for sure, we have to first of all calculate like sales of Sunday and sales of Monday. And then we have to basically calculate sales of the whole week. And then if we will divide uh, like sales of Sunday with the total week sales, we will be able to get the percentage of weekly sales, right? So let's quickly uh, like define the approach for to solve this particular problem. And then we will see like how we will be able to uh, solve this, uh, like uh, that particular problem with the help of SQL, right? Let me just quickly define the problem, like uh, approach for this problem. So first of all, what we will do over here is we will uh, like find out the num like week number and day of the week, right? Uh, as uh, as over here, like we have to basically define week number in the output, right? And uh, over here, like why day of the week we have to like define or find out because we have to first of all uh, define like first day of the week and last day of the week, right? So this will be the very first step which we have to basically solve, right? Then post that what we have to do, we have to basically calculate the total sales of the week, right? Then we have to classify day as Monday and Sunday, right? And then at end, basically we will uh, like uh, take Monday sales, right? And then we will take Sunday sales and then we will divide it with total sales to calculate the percentage, right? So yeah, as we can see, like this is the approach. Let's uh, start uh, like solving this uh, with uh, like by using SQL, right? So first of all, as we can see, uh, let me just quickly take this as uh, over here, right? So as we can uh, see over here, we are having invoice number, stock, uh, stock code, quantity, invoice date, and unit price, right? Now in SQL Server, can I say this thing like in order to calculate or in, 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 in order to like figure out week number and day of the week, we are having a date time function, which is known as date part, right? So what date part does is uh, basically it will uh, give us the, like uh, from date, it will basically give us the uh, week number and uh, day of the week, right? So I'm using date part over here. Now, what all things we have to basically define as part of this, right? So in uh, in date part, we have to basically define like what all uh, like parameters or what all uh, like uh, um, uh, basically uh, problems we have to solve with this particular function, right? So since we need week number, right? So basically I'm using week over here. Basically this particular 
uh, like a keyword will give me the week of that particular date, right? And with respect to this, I will use invoice date. Uh, invoice date, right? Uh, I will basically give this as column alias as week number, right? Similarly, I will use same piece of code to get day of the week, right? So I will use week day for this, right? Uh, same invoice date. And we will basically give this as day of day of week, right? Now let me just run this and uh, okay, let me just run this and let let's see like what will be the output we will be getting. Uh, invoice date, okay. Oh, I see. There is no uh, underscore between this. Okay, now let's run. Okay, so as you can see, we are having week number. We are having day of the week, right? Uh, along with this particular code, uh, like uh, table, right? Now we have to basically take the sales as well, right? Because we have to calculate like percentage uh, contribution of the sales. So what we will do, I will take the sales as well, right? So as we can see, as part of this particular uh, like uh, table, over here, we are having quantity and unit pi, uh, like unit price is a two different columns, right? So in order to calculate sales, what I will do, I will use quantity, right? One sec, okay. Quantity into unit price, right? And this, I will give this as sales, right? Let's run this once again. Okay, yeah. So as you can see, we have, we, we got sales over here along with week number and day of the week, right? Now we don't need all of these columns over here, right? So let me just remove this and this will become my first uh, piece of code, right? So basically with, with respect to this piece of code, we solved this part of problem, right? Now what we have to do, we have to basically calculate the total sales of the week, right? So for that, what we will do over here, let me just quickly give this as CD. So I will give it, uh, let's see, we sales for this okay and uh, I will basically take okay so this was my first city right now what we will do over here we will take the like uh, we will calculate total sales right so I will use select right uh, week number uh, week number right and with respect to this I will use some of sales I will give this as total sales, right? From uh, weekly sales, right? Uh, since we are using aggregation function over here, so I will use group by, group by of what? Group by of week. So yeah, let's run this once. Yeah, so as you can see for each week number, we got total sales, right? Now, with respect to this, we have solved the second part of this particular problem, right? Now, what we have to do, we have to basically classify the day as Monday and Sunday, right? Now, you guys might be thinking like, don't we, uh, like, can't we get that Monday and Sunday classification from the date part itself? Uh, the answer is no. Basically, we don't have that functionality available with respect to date part, right? So for this, we have to basically classify it uh, manually over here, right? So let me just quickly give this as another CTE, right? So step by step, we will be solving this particular problem. So I will give this as, uh, let's say, total weekly sales, right? And this will uh, this will become my second CTE, right? Now, what we have to do, we have to basically classify uh, the like day of the week as Monday and Sunday, right? So for that, what I will do. I will again take the same CTE weekly sales over here, right? And with respect to this, what I will do, I will basically take uh, like uh, using a case one statement, I will basically classify this, right? So for that, what I will do, I will take a case when, right? Case when uh, over here, let me just run this once again so that like you guys will be able to see, okay. So over here, uh, like we can classify it like Sunday and Monday based on this day of week, right? So case when uh, day of week, 
uh, is equal to uh, so over here uh, as we can see basically date part is giving us day of the week right so first day of the week will be sunday right and sec so basically in date part our day, uh, our week is starting just from sunday right so wherever we are getting one that will become sunday right you can refer the documentation part of the date part function right you will be able to get that so for like uh, wherever uh, wherever we are getting one that will become uh, sunday and we are uh, wherever we are getting two that will become monday right so case when uh, two then then uh, sales uh, else zero right uh, and i will basically add this as monday sales okay and similarly i will use same case one statement with one and then sales as zero as sunday sales okay so this uh, this had became my sunday sales and this had became my monday sales right now over here basically what we are trying to do right uh, let me just give this table name as well from from what from this original table right so from weekly sales from weekly sales, right let me just run this once probably you will be able to see what will be the output yeah so over here as you can see we are getting this monday sales and sunday sales over here uh, right now can i see this thing uh, based on week number we have to get these sales right so over here as you can see we have to uh, provide an output for each week number right so can i see this thing if i will take week number as well as part of this piece of code right and can i say this thing if i will basically do sum of uh this right uh i'm i mean like based on week number uh what we are doing over here is or let me just remove this one so so that like you will be able to uh get this properly so let me just run this once again yeah so over here as you can see basically we are having week number right uh, over here, as you can see, we are having for for eighth week number, we are having multiple records, right? Similarly, for seventh week number, again we are having multiple records, right? So since we need this output uh, at a week number level, so can I say this thing? Uh, I will take week number, right? And I will basically do some of this column and some of this column, right? Based on week number, right? If I will do that, I will get for each week number what is the total sales for monday and total sales for sunday right so for that what i will do i will use sum over here right and uh, i mean like this is the unique and uh, special use case you can say right wherever we are using like basically sum uh, along with case when statement so you can basically take a note of this so yeah over ah gotcha okay so over here, since we are basically you doing aggregation function, so basically we have to take group by, so group by of what? Group by of week number, right? Now let me just run this once. Yeah, so as you can see for each week number, we got Monday sales and we got Sunday sales, right? Now, basically with respect to this, we have uh, like solved the third part of this particular problem, right? Now what we have to do, we have to just like basically divide Monday sales and Sunday sales with total sales, right? I mean, like the, now this particular problem had became easier, right? So for that, what I will do, can I say this thing? If I will basically join this table, right? With this table, right? So over here, what we were getting, we were getting like week number, right? And for each week number, what was the total sales, right? So can I say this thing on a week number level, if I will join this table with this CTE, I will get total sales column over here, right? And then uh, like if I will be able to divide Monday sales with total like uh, total sales and Sunday sales with total sales, I will be able to uh, like get the percentage of my Monday sales and total like Sunday sales, right? So for that, what I will do, let me just give this as another CTE. So over here, what I will do, I will take this as uh, first, last day sales, right? So this had became my first, last day sales. Okay. Now what we have to do, we have to just 
like join these two CTEs together, right? So for that, I will take select. Uh, we, we have to take week number. So week number, right? From, mm, let's take this as a base table, right? And what we have to do, we have to basically join this with total weekly sales, right? So for that, uh, let me just give this as F1 as a, uh, alias. I will use join uh, total weekly sales, right? And this head, uh, let me just give this as TW on F1 dot week number is equal to F2, uh, sorry, TW dot uh, week number, right? Now, uh, what we have to do basically, we have to, so let me just run this once and you will be able to see like, uh, or it will be difficult because we have to take like F1 and TW as a reference over here. So let's, uh, let's get this sorted, right? So over here, what we have to do, we have to take Monday sales, right? And then we have to divide this with total sales, right? So let me just quickly do this uh, right away. So I will take F1 dot Monday sales, right? Then divided by tw dot total sales right so this had became my monday sales percentage right so let me just give this as uh monday first prc okay uh same thing we have to do for sunday as well so for that i will use sunday right and same thing uh over here let's say sunday but okay now uh in uh this particular problem uh like we had been asked to basically round it up as well, right? So, so the percentage which we are getting, we have to round it up as well, right? So for that, I'm using round, right? And uh, since this is a percentage, so we have to multiply this with 100 as well. So I'm multiplying it with 100, right? And uh, I will basically round it up. So it will be rounded till zero and one more bracket we have to close, right? Similarly, we have to do this for Sunday sales as well. So Sunday sales multiply 100 comma zero, right? Now over here, again, uh, what we have to do basically, uh, we are taking week number over here. Okay, so week number from which table? Let's, uh, let's say week number we can take from F1. Uh, like this uh, first day, uh, first last day sales table, right? Uh, let me just quickly run this and we'll show you what will be the output uh, as this was the final step uh, as part of our approach. So over here, as we can see, we are having week number, we are having this Monday percentage and we are having this Sunday percentage, right? And we are getting this for each week number, right? And this is what we had been asked as part of this particular problem statement, right? So yeah, guys, that's all from my side. I hope you got to learn something new from this particular problem. Let me know in the comment section if you know any other like possible solution for this. Thank you one and all. Have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.